Hi, this is Dr. Alemi with a just-in-time instruction on how to do the assignment for this week. First, this is a capital project. We would like to make sure the project starts on January 1st of the year. I will go ahead and enter the remaining tasks. I have entered strategic phase, project initiation phase, and its various subtasks, building design phase, construction phase, and the last phase, which is occupancy. Now I'm going to enter the pre predecessor duration and predecessor. Uh, let's open this so that we can see the place to enter predecessors. The predecessor column shows the various task predecessors. For example, project initiation follows uh, a strategic plan. Of interest is that task 6, which is space uh, programming, is said to be finishing with master facility planning. That's indicated by FF5, which indicates that these two tasks are to finish together. Now we are ready to go and enter the duration, but the duration is based on pessimistic and optimistic estimates, so we have to enter it in a, a different fashion. We go view, toolbars, and select the PERT analysis we in the PERT toolbar we select PERT entry sheet and it provides us with various uh, duration, optimistic duration, expected duration, and pessimistic duration. In our data, pessimistic is given first, so I'm going to move this behind. And optimistic is given last, so I'm going to move this on the back so that it has the same structure. Now we are ready to enter the strategic plan phase, the duration, the pessimistic estimate is nine months. The expected estimate is eight months. And the optimistic estimate is six months. We go ahead and enter this for the remainder. This table shows the pessimistic, optimistic, and expected duration for the various activities. We are now ready to to go and calculate the PERT. To calculate the PERT, we select uh, calculate PERT. It will overwrite any value or delete any customization. It will create the new duration. Do I want to continue? Yes. There we have it. The project ends in 856 days. The set this up just to um, not have it half a day eight hundred sixty two days now the problem asks us to provide with a tracking 
of performance and you gives us times that various tasks or tasks are completed before we can go and enter those times we have to save the baseline so that it will not change as a consequence to do so um, uh, we'll go to tools tracking and save baseline save baseline for the entire project now we have saved the baseline we are ready to uh, enter the actual duration to do so we need to see a view um, tracking this allows us to enter actual start and actual finish time I'm going to go ahead and enter that for the various tasks well the problem says that we started the this the strategic planning in January 1st of 2008 and we finished it on June June 1st I've gone ahead and entered the other dates as well and now we have the actual duration of the project at 187 days the project initiation is has had an actual duration of doing that has been 65 days The assignment asks us to show the tracking information. To do so, we need to view tracking Gantt chart. Let's set this up for uh, in terms of years in the middle tier and half years in the bottom, so we can zoom in. And there you have it, project is shown uh, as well as the days uh, it takes to complete the project the duration of various activities in this graph the blue line shows the actual activity and the gray line shows the baseline planned activity as you can see we have we are performing better than our plan that we are short finishing tasks faster